Hi, I greet this day with the love in my heart. Welcome to Indian Stock Mind Dynamics. Today, the tip of the day is I would like to offer you is Facets of a Memory, Part 1. Be with me. Today being 1st June 2019, what a wonderful day is ahead. Let's make this day a worth remembering. 1st June 1786, Madras. General Post Office was started functioning. Now we could see that same building. It's reconstructed in the year 1884. It's in the Paris Carmel in Rajaji Sala in Chennai. Well, the same day, 1st June 1916, Lokamanya Tilak roared, Freedom is my birthright in Ahmad Nagar in Maharashtra. Well, the same day, 1st June 1930, from Victorious Terminus to Pune, the first Indian fast train board. It's called Deccan Queen. Okay, and the same day, 1st June is considered to be Flip Coin Day and Global Baron Day. And also say, they say, say something nice day. Now coming to my subject, facets of memory. I'm really fascinated to talk about the subject because it's my ingrained subjects which have been digested metabolically, both mind and body, let's say. And I'm very fascinated. In fact, the subject is a wide and very wide. And it requires a lot of strength and stamina to understand. It's a ocean, in fact. But I'm going to give it to you in the piecemeal so that you can digest it properly and understand what are the importance of the memory and what are its real facets. Well, today I'm going to talk about the memory in such a way. There are two types of memory. One is a trained memory and the other one is untrained memory. The trained memory are the people who are intended to understand the faculty of the brain and start reading and exploring themselves with a lot of techniques like me, which I do. In my institute, Indian Stock Mind Dynamics, students from all walks of life comes to me. From school students to scholars, they come to me to learn the art of memorization concentration and the systematic study skills all these are in, in fact it is ingrained in the subject called memory now where the memory is popping out from our brain all the neurons have billions of neurons each neurons has its own memory field the hundred billion neurons have got a hundred billion ways to give you the idea of understanding what you are assimilating in the mind and stored as a memory. For example, if I say something like about my subject, just now one, one of my students completed and graduated, she was telling about the life-changing aspect of my approach as a dynamic purpose of teaching this memory. Memory is a processor in the brain which stores a lot of information through feelings, emotion and what not. But we don't take it as serious. We think the memory is only for steady purpose, storing information and in fact we do something in life. No, memory is life according to me and the life is nothing but the memory. Take it from me. So without memory, we cannot survive on this earth as a human being. As a human being, we are granted by this nature, the universe, okay, as a form of memory field in our brain, we assume a lot of information from our childhood. In fact, from the womb of the mother, our memory starts functioning and from womb to toe, the memory is processed and
and assimilated lot of information is stored the thought which comes from our mind creates our experiences when it is creates as experiences then experiences become a memory and that's stored in our short term long term and what not it is going to be a genetic memory for us genetic memories we from many different uh, part of our life we are carrying it it's true now the research is proving that part is also coming out and i'm going to talk about genetic memory after some time now this memory though we have possessed it abundantly because 100 billion neurons are there to take care even if you lose some of them every day those one which we are not used we are losing it will still survive but what's happening at present nowadays we are filled with informations it's a information era lot of information are flip pop over i mean tip pop over time you know it's available but we don't know how to retain those information in proper way so that we can recall it whenever we want it so information era is there a lot of technology helping us to remember but that technology is mopping our inner inbuilt quality and the life force called memory in other word memory is a mental energy it's a mind energy i can say that as a physical energy we get from the food the mind energy gets from our thought so thought should be neat the thought should be clear and thought should be good so that we can create a good memory all over our life and perform everything intact without memory you know that there are problems people fail to write examination in a proper way they lose marks sometimes they face a failure in the examination if you don't proper have a memory and the people who don't have memory fail in the job procuring a job in the interview they fail even if you get into the job the susceptibility is not there they are finding difficult to retain in the organization and the business if you don't have memory you lose a business because you know visible and invisible competitors are around and if you don't have proper memory and you are outclassed so even the relationship with the wife and husband children and anybody who we are coming across if you don't have proper memory they don't respect you they don't value you they don't even uh, think that you are exist so memory is one of the vital force which god has given to us let's make use of it now we have memory i have memory you have memory yes we do agree but how to retain it how to augment it how to strengthen it how to excel in it how to enhance it there are many ways good things is that is there right now with the form of techniques okay i'll be keep discussing lot of techniques on this please be with me i'm in stud i'll give the mind dynamics techniques there are lot of techniques are there the one of the technique is three dimensional memory formula people are energizing it people are exercising it people are experiencing it and they are exploring it many ways in life so memory is nothing but a part it contains a contents but if the part become a crack all the thing will go so you should not lose your memory for any reason so keep it intact and augment it strengthen it and keep in the memory you can explore this world in a very different way and be successful in life in all walks of life thank you for watching last but not the least today i'm ready to go because of uh, say something nice day memory make every moment of your life be a memorable one i repeat memory is a part make every moment of your life a memorable one thank for watching be with me i'll catch you later may all be blessed